Bitcoin versus Cardano. Hi everyone, this is Aaron with Crypto Trends, and today is December 26, 2017. So today we are looking, or we're actually going to compare how Bitcoin stacks up to Cardano uh, in a uh, regardless of price. We're just looking at the coins themselves. So right now at the time of this recording, we have a market cap of 608 billion with Bitcoin dominance at almost 45%. That gives us 270 billion, almost 271 market cap for Bitcoin, and as you can see here, almost 11 billion for God, uh, excuse me, Cardano or ADA. So how are we going to approach this uh, by comparing the two other than the market cap and the price? What I do and this is criteria for long-term holds. What I do is I have a set of criteria, and that's these here in this column, and I have the example of what they mean. And what I've done is, for example, we'll go over this, okay? And this is, you know, this is on a spreadsheet. This is on a, a LibreOffice. You can download it free. But what I do is I have, okay, roadmap. I call it RM. And I have a little table down here where you see RM. And I'm going to put a score in there. And that score is going to be from 0 to 100. And I'm giving it a weight of 5% out of all these. I'm saying, okay, well, out of all these, this is only 5% of the total. Okay? Let me expand that just a tad. There. And all the percentages equal to 100. Yay! So it's a weighted average. Now, this one would be, you know, this is just a check that I did to make sure that, like, the max times the weight is, you know, the the number that gets derived from that. And when they add up, they should be 100. And, yeah, that's great. Because sometimes you want to go in and readjust the weight that you give uh, these options. And this is at your own discretion. You don't have to use my weights. Uh, you can over time change the weights and see how things work out. So first off, roadmap. Here's criteria number one, roadmap. So the roadmap, is it clear with the specific tech goals and or alliances that have been, excuse me, that have specified target dates? So do they have a roadmap? Do they have dates? Vision viable. The viability of their vision. Is the vision viable in current and future eco markets and regulations? So is this project actually going to be uh, around? You know, can it, can it actually, uh, do you think it's a good idea, basically, okay? Do you think it's a good idea? And then if it is a good idea, do you think it'll stick around? Same as for the tech. Do you think the tech, assuming it, that it can actually be implemented, will it work? And then we have the team. Team here, I have at 15%. Uh, tech, I have at 25, etc. You can see that here. So the team, does the team have the ability to achieve the roadmap targets? Can they actually accomplish it? And that's a pretty, that's a pretty big thing. A lot of teams out there, they'll have these dreams and they won't be able to actually make the product that works and um, anyway so this is your team score you know how good is your team please include management the team management in this okay so the next next option here we have demand so is there actually market demand for the product okay and that's kind of a special one that is a calculated field and we'll get to that later when we get down to this table going here real quick we have utility does the coin offer a real-life utility or service? So in other words, it's just not some bogus coin uh, that you came up with and you trade, you know, between your friends. You know, you want it to have a real-world use, you know. Also, acceptance. Will businesses actually accept and incorporate the coin? Will they use it? Regulation. Can the coin be stopped by a government? Can the coin survive a heavily regulated environment? By this, take a look at what happened with Bitcoin when China 
uh, basically stop the trading of Bitcoin. Can that happen? Is the is the coin is the tech? Can it uh, basically get around uh, uh, the government trying to stop it? And China has like the national router of China, so keep that in mind. So then next we have taxation. Yay. Pay your taxes, guys. Pay your taxes. So the taxation, oh, going back to regulation, just note here on the weight I have it as a negative 3. And that's because it's uh, it has a negative effect on the overall score of, of the coin, okay? So taxation. Is there an off-ramp for taxation? Can the government track and extract taxes on sales, use, and uh, in you know inheritance? You know, like when you die, etc. Can they actually put a tax on it and extract money from you? Uh, this is a real bummer, but it's a real important thing. The actual allowable lifespan of the coin is pretty much dependent upon its taxable ability. In other words, governments want you to tax. Uh, excuse me, they want to tax the coin. We all know this. Um, anyway, don't try to avoid taxes. That is um, what I try to do, not to avoid them. I'm happy to pay them. Well, not really happy, but you know what I mean. Okay, carrying on, competition. There's our little uh, thing. I have that as a negative 25%. That's a big one. So is there significant competition from the other coins or existing businesses with the same end objective? And then scalability. Is there enough bandwidth, speed, nodes, energy to support the project in, long, in the long term? So going down here. Let's look at Bitcoin. And yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a long video. So we'll just take it one by one, and you can actually get an idea of how to do this for yourself, okay? So first off, we have Bitcoin. And RM, which is up here, roadmap. So is there a clear roadmap, and where does one find the roadmap? Why well, go up here to CoinMarketCap? It's a, it's a really great uh, site. And I clicked on Bitcoin, I go to the website, okay? It's right there. And I was looking all over for the roadmap and I couldn't find it. Looked under resources, you know, there's like, I just couldn't find it. If you know where it's at, let me know. Um, but anyway, I couldn't find it. And so what I did on my little spreadsheet is as well, you know, I couldn't find it. I'm sure there's got to be something out there but it's really not on their website. And when people get on like Coinbase, they're gonna be looking at the website. So why isn't there some type of roadmap of where the coin wants to go? So on this one, you know, because there could be one that I just missed, um, I'm giving it only a 20 out of 100 because it's not on their website that I could find easily. That's really important. So the next one is the vision viability. Uh, how viable is the vision? And this is, in my opinion, um, you know, you know, put whatever score you want. These are from like zero to a hundred, okay? The viability of Bitcoin, yeah, it's working, but overall viability of it in the long run, and I'm I'm talking long run, I'm only going to give about it like a twenty-five, okay? The technology, well, the tech, assuming does it can it work? Um, it, it's actually had some issues, um, but it has been working for the most part, so I'm going to give it a 75, okay? The team, duh, I don't know about the team, the, you know, arguments, uh, the forks, uh, Bitcoin Cash, you, you know, where are they going with this? So I'm only going to give it a 50. Now here's the DM, the demand. This is calculated by taking the, we'll go over here and we can... Stop moving that. We're taking 26 divided by 20. So we have 26, which is the coin's current market cap. 
divided by the total market cap and that gives us this and I just took that percentage times 100 to give us some type of a range between 1 and 100 okay so that's 44.53 percent is the demand which is which is the demand um, it's the amount that's that it, it it has in the market so next we have the utility does a coin offer real life utility <sighs> What do you think? You know, put what you think in here. For me to actually have it be used, I'm only going to give it like a 30. Okay. Uh, acceptance. Up here, acceptance. Will businesses accept and incorporate the coin? No. I am saying no. Well, let's give it 10%. Let's only give it a 10. For the most part, no. I mean, huge transaction fees, okay? And it's slow. It's not meant, it's not a ripple. Okay, next, regulation. Can it be stopped by government? Yes, it can and has. Taxation. Yep. That is for sure. It does have uh, a trackable route for taxation. And then competition. Hmm. Is, do you think Bitcoin has significant competition? Yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? I mean, it is way up there. Cardano, IOTA, you know, a whole bunch. And then scalability. The scalability of this thing, um, it scales out, but, you know, it's, it's having problems. I'm only going to give it a 20 there, okay? All right, so now let's go look at Cardano here real quick. We'll go faster on this one. Kill that. Go back here. Let's go back look at Cardano. Go to their website. Oh, before we do that, uh, crap. Okay, Cardano, its market cap is 10994. And so what I did is I typed that in, okay? Right there. So going back to Cardano, what we are doing, come on thing, what we're doing is we're looking for the roadmap, okay? So let's go look for the roadmap. Let's scroll on down, the product. Oh, look at that, roadmap. Nice and easy right there. So they have a roadmap. Okay, do they have stuff they want to do with dates? Look for dates, look for dates. Okay, dates, yay. And progress, oh, they actually did something. Okay, great, that was in September. So Shelly, any dates? No dates. They're kind of leaving this up in the air, but they do have a roadmap, which is a good thing and so on this I'm it doesn't have the actual specified things uh, I mean the roadmap isn't completely spelled out but it's there so I'm going to give it like a 75 it's way better than Bitcoin so the vision once again this is how we're doing our homework this is this is actually how we're doing the homework and looking at um, looking at the company so the homework on the vision, it is a decentralized public blockchain cryptocurrency project and is fully open source. And it does the smart contract platform, uh, deliver more advanced features, previous developed, blah, 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 blah. And um, it's first approach team, yeah, a bunch of engineers and, you know, that's great. I would highly suggest to get, to get this information is to read the white paper. So look at this, read the white paper, gauge the tech, and you do that before you, you put down these scores, okay? So the score for the viability, I really think that Cardano can be a happening thing. So I'm actually going to give it 100. The tech, I think the tech will actually work in the long run. They're, um, they had some issues with their wallet, yeah. Uh, apparently that's been fixed but 
they are going around they're going about their tech in a very unique way so this is something that's going to be real solid in the future so their tech I'm going to give it a eh, maybe not a hundred let's do an 85 well no it's way better than and uh, okay so let's look at their team their team is really great this one, that 1 1.8, what we're doing is we're finding the percentage of the market cap. Remember, Bitcoin's almost 45%. They're only 1.8%, almost 2%, okay? So then we have the utility. Is it actually a utility? Does it offer real-life utility or service? Yeah, it, it really does. What it does is it offers um, a platform. And that's something up here I should probably change. Uh, the utility on Bitcoin a little bit higher than that and I'm actually gonna bump this one down um, well, let's actually bump it up you see I'm changing my mind here what is the acceptance will businesses accept and incorporate the icon uh, excuse me the uh, uh, the coin things are going to be built on top of this so uh, also, it's going to, um, this is hard to say. I'm going to give it a 75, okay? If this was IOTA, I'd give it a 100 because of the zero transactions. But this one has a pretty good chance of being accepted and things written on it uh, being accepted. Uh, let's see, the regulations. Can it be stopped by government? Yeah, it can be stopped. It can be taxed. Yeah. Competition, is there a lot of competition? Yeah, Bitcoin's competition. Scalable, this thing is scalable. All right, so right now what we have is all of our weights, our percentages. Here's our percentages up here again, and I'm taking basically like that percentage times that score, zero to 100, and I'm adding them all up, and then there's my score. So the score for Bitcoin is a 29 score for Cardano ADA is a 76 so Cardano wins by a long 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 way it is a far more viable project it's not going anywhere and if you see a dump if you see a pump and dump and you start getting the FUD the fear uncertainty and the doubt you can go back and you can look at your score and you can say, hey, this is a 76 or this is a 90. This thing isn't going anywhere. I am very confident that um, I'm going to hold and keep this during the dips. And even during the dips, the downturns, I might even pick up some more. And so that's it. That is basically what I do. And there's also other things that I do. When I'm looking at this, I'm also gauging it in other ways because, um, well, we'll get into that in, in future videos of what I do once I have this number, okay? But for right now, create a little spreadsheet and and do a weighted average. Do this, uh, do the criteria first. Come up with a criteria of what you think is important. And uh, I use zero to 100, put in the weights, make your little sheet down here how I calculated this the um, uh, here notice that I have that dollar sign right there after the number that way when I copy it down it keeps basically this number frozen so I'm always taking five percent times that number and that's with the dollar sign after uh, like that F the the number okay you see it up there dollar sign dollar sign anyway Long enough video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, please pound that like button and subscribe, and there will be more to come. Thanks so much for watching, and have a fantastic day.